Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, React and Chill. I'm Dika. So, last time on Bleach, um, I'd realised when I was going back through my notes, we actually, pardon me, covered a lot of stuff last time. So the gang ended up in the Soul Society, and um, they landed in the Rukon district. Literally perimeters, the, say, I had to go back and listen to this, the Serete, 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 which is like, the Soul, Soul Reaper district, where the Soul Reapers are. Um, unfortunately, they they had to go past, there are four gates, um, uh, or the Soul Gates, I think they were called. Spirit Gates, sorry. There were four Spirit Gates, and one of the Spirit Gates they came across was guarded by um, Jidambo. So Jidambo was one of the gatekeepers, and the gate he was guarding was called the Hakuto Gate. The spirit gate. I don't know if they're all called Hakuto or they, they've got different names. So anyway, Ichigo and Jidambo went up against one another. He defeated Jidambo and Jidambo being an honourable gatekeeper saying, you know what, you beat me fair and square, you could pass through the gate. That's when um, Gin, Gin Ichimaru, he's the captain of squad three. Uh, not only did he cut Jidambo, essentially, while he was holding up the gate, used his Zambakuto, which I think it, his Zambakuto is called Shinzo. And it's crazy because he went, he stood like about 100 feet away. And then he told, he, he literally commanded his Zambakuto to pierce Ichigo. He, Ichigo was knocked the hell out. Him and Jidambo were thrown back, and obviously the gates to the Serite, gates into the Serite. Uh, was closed. One of the best highlights of the episode is that we Yoichi met Chad again because they had they made that promise that Chad was going to carry Yoichi on his shoulders and we found out a little bit more about the Soul Society. Like you don't necessarily always meet families don't always meet each other again at the Soul Society because Yoichi was living with um, another child, another kid, like his brother and other parents. So they end up forming family. So when the souls enter the Soul Society. They don't essentially meet for past family members. Once the gang ends up going back to the Rukon District Elder's house, um, Yoroichi, the cat, ends up asking about, um, what's his name? Kukaku Shiba. So again, I don't know if this, per this is a person or like a pathway or a gate or whatever it is. So they were talking about going to this place, person, whomever, to enter to get past the spirit gate to be able to get onto the soul reaper side so while they were discussing this all of a sudden ganju turned up ganju riding on his boar i forgot what the pig was called but i thought when when they introduced ganju and his boar and his gang of boar riding guys um i thought <laughs> i thought the boar was uh kukaku shiba so no the boar wasn't kukaku shiba it was just a boar um, so Ganju is a self-proclaimed um, Soul Reaper hater, he doesn't like the Soul Reapers. One thing I did notice, he looked like he had a broken, it looked like a broken Zambakuto, so I wonder what that was about. So they started fighting and then all of a sudden it hit 9 o'clock and he had to go, so I'm not sure what that meant. So now we're on episodes 23 and 24, I'm excited to find out where Ganju had to run off to where this um, place Yoroichi wants to take the gang to be able to enter. Uh, and I wonder what information um, Gin is going to go back with, knowing that Ichigo is legit in the Soul Society. But that's it. Let's get into the episode. Well, come on and give me a ride out of here. <laughs> Just wait. I'll be back here again tomorrow. We'll settle this thing once and for all. Trust me, that was a disaster. <clears throat> it looks like Jidambo's wound has closed up. Okay. I hope he'll be okay when he comes to again. Is who exactly is this Kukaku Shiba we're supposed to be looking for? Yes. Wow, I wonder if that means it's a really smart purebred cat with pedigree papers. I hope so. Probably a powerful samurai warrior. No, I think he'll be more of a hermit type master. Uh -huh. Maybe not. I'm quite intrigued. I thought it might be a place. A hermit type samurai warrior master with the ears and tails of a cat. What's the holdup with Ichigo anyway? Huh? What do you mean not going? That's what I said. I'm staying to finish my battle with that pinhead from yesterday. Space. That's not an option. 
I know they started off as enemies, but I really, really like um, the their dynamic. Um, Uryu and Ichigo. I really like their dynamic. Help me get him <laughs> out of here! Leave me alone! Guys, before you know it! Oh! Oh! Out! <laughs> Shut him off. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Lives are at stake. Rukia's life in particular is in your hands. Are you ready for the task at hand? Hmm. <laughs> I think that boy backed down to reality. <laughs> Execution date. It's less than 14 days from now. Mm. The use of the Sokyoku has been approved to the repentance cell. Are you sure this is the right way, Uryu? Just be quiet. I'm following the Elder's map, and according to this, we're almost there now. Living in these types of surroundings is just Kukaku's personal preference. Okay, it is a person then. It looks like we've arrived. To what? <laughs> Arms? <laughs> like I said, you know it when you see it. Let's go. Yeah. I bet he's like, like some eccentric, boisterous sort of person. Like he's a bit out there. It's not like some grand master. Oh, an audio. You better not tell anyone I went in this place or you'll pay for it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, strangers! Huh? Who dares trespass here? I, Kokanehiko. And I, Shiro Kanehiko, cannot allow you passage inside this building. No, I can Master Yoruichi! A thousand apologies, Master Yoruichi, for not recognizing right away that it was you. I should have said word ahead that my companions and I were on our way here. <laughs> You're too kind. Such generous words from such a great person. So Yoruichi is some sort of respected master. The people of Rukon District don't know who he is or don't recognize him in that form. And if Yoruichi is from the Soul Society, which I think he is, which goes back to my theory of I think Kisuke used to be from the Soul Society too, which explains why he has... Zambakuto, and technically his he, he he can look like he's in a shihat show as well, kind of. But hmm, so yeah. Now, please enter. Is that a lady or a man? Well, it's been a long time, hasn't it, Yoruichi? Kukaku? You assumed it was a man, but I never told you that. True. First, though, I have a favor to ask of you, Kukaku. I bet Yoruichi isn't really a cat. Like, Yoruichi must be in a, some sort of form. I can't remember if I've mentioned this before. Oh my god. There, at the edge of the cliff. The instruments of your execution. The Sokyoku. Oh my god. So that's the Sokyoku. Alright, guillotine. Not even a guillotine. Guillotine, well, her head's gonna get cut off by the looks of it. I don't know how Renji is feeling about all of this. He clearly feels some type of way. I want to leave you with some unconfirmed information. Now my sources say one of them carried a sword as long as his body. Mm. A soul reaper with orange colored hair. Why is it? It makes me think. Why is he telling her this? Is it to give her some sort of hope? Because Renji's been feeling quite angry. He was shocked when Byakuya they definitely passed the sentence so he just he was shocked about it now he's letting her know that ichigo and ko are here in the soul society is that giving her some sort of hope i don't know ah uh, what the hell i'll take the job excellent so i'm going to send an overseer with you just to keep an eye on them for me oh. hey in there are you ready yes sis i'm ready it's an honor to meet you My <laughs> it's my name is Ganju Shiba. Ganju! And I'm pleased to be of service. Huh? You two already know each other? Maybe! Nine o'clock was his curfew. He had to get back to his sister. Unfortunately, it was Gin Ichimaru who met him at the gate. So the substitute soul reaper is probably dead already. Unfortunately? Again, it makes you think. Renji. Renji. Yeah, Renji. Does he feel a type of way? about the situation about Rukia does Renji like Rukia even in a in, in, in a sort of a kinship type of way because they came from the same place type of thing I wonder even though he wasn't allowed those guys in the cloaks told him it's not permitted he still told her he's assuming that oh because Gin met him that he's dead but that's not the case Captain Eisen I've heard the name Eisen 
a lot throughout Bleach, but I don't know who he is 100%, but I've heard of this person. It's been a long time since you and I had a talk, Renji. Would it be accurate to say that you are fairly close to the prisoner, Rukia Kuchki? Weren't the two of you good friends in your younger days back in the Rukan district? Yeah. Yes. In your personal opinion, does Rukia deserve to die? Now this, I feel like, is a trap. As, as, as nice as Aizen might look, there's always, again, those sorts of characters. You're not allowed to... Didn't they say that the more you spend in the mortal world, you get emotions, so... Is something bad going to happen to Renji? Serious offences, to be sure. But does this punishment fit the crime? The order for immediate return and disposal of her Giga. The lessening of the grace period from 35 to 25 days. All these measures are outside the norm. Hmm. I have a strong suspicion that these things are happening as the result of the will of a single person. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, you knocked her pipe out of her. That's not gonna end well. <coughs> That's it. Forget that first. <laughs> oh dear. We need a new house. Ow. Listen, you idiot. If you don't like the way I do things here, then get the hell out. Any questions? Nope. <laughs> nope, I'm just fine with it. Okay, then. <laughs> Gather up your crap and follow me. Lots of Firefly Creeper vines. I just realized one of her arms, I did notice it in the last scene, but one of her arms is like, is it wooden? But what is that thing? That's the chimney. It's huge. From the outside. With this launcher, I'll get you all into the Serete through the air. The <laughs> air? <laughs> like a cannon. Fireworks expert of the Rukon district. Raise it up now! Oh, hey, whoa, hey, whoa! Wow, the whole area. What's the house? One and only enhanced fireworks launch pad. And that's the flower crank cannon! The idea of shooting us up into the air is completely perfect. It's a Reishu Kaku, or spirit core. Place your palms on it and concentrate your spirit energy. And he can't use spirit energy at all. Yeah, I can uh, see that. Ganju, show this amateur how it's done. Hmm. Hey, give it here! <laughs> but I, for one, would rather die right here than to learn it from you. <laughs> Stop this right now, both of you! <laughs> What's that? This here is the cannonball. That the Serete has a spherical barrier which surrounds them, protecting them not only from the sky above, but even below the ground. If all four of you combined put your spirit energy into this Reishu Kaku, you can create a temporary cannonball that can break through the barrier. <laughs> Listen, you guys, if any one of you loses concentration, then you'll blow up on the spot. Whoa! Get your ass down there and help them practice. Helping a soul reaper is something we shouldn't do. After what happened to our brother. All lieutenants are to put on their badges and wait in conference room too. This certainly is becoming interesting. I feel like it's a trap. Something's about to go down. You haven't seen Captain Eisen around, have you? I'm worried. He's been acting strange lately. What's happening, Captain Eisen? Just what the hell is going on here? I... Mm. Sorry, brother. I've decided to help that Soul Reaper, not unlike the one who killed you. You who loved Soul Reapers all your life. And also died as a Soul Reaper. If you please, honor him. Oh, oh nice! Good. And now it is time for Ichigo. <laughs> <laughs> of course he's struggling. What is that supposed to be? It's obvious that you have absolutely no talent for this. It's crazy to think he's got the highest and the most spiritual energy, yet probably finding it hard to control his spiritual energy. Hey guys, listen up. Why don't we take a break? Dinner's ready. Never mind about me. Mm -hmm. Go on ahead and eat. I'll join you guys when I'm done. Is she that important to you? Huh? That girl, the other soul reaper. 
You know, the one you came to save? I owe her. Mm. She saved my life. I haven't repaid her yet. Yeah, that's true, actually. Because of that, she was captured. And now she's about to be executed. Visualize this. Draw a circle inside your mind. Then, imagine yourself jumping right into the center of the circle. This is a basic imaging technique that allows you to get in touch with your spirit energy. Besides, since you totally suck, I doubt you'd be able to do it like I can anyway. That guy is one bad actor. What an idiot. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It helped. Come on, Ichigo. You've got this. What the hell's going on? Ganju, I'm talking to you! It's just that... I only showed him once. I never thought it would turn out like this. His spirit energy is strong, but he's out of control. Stupid idiot! Concentrate your spirit energy! Yeah. I did it! Uh -oh, this is gonna... You ignorant dumbass! You gotta stay focused! Cause you'll blow up! <laughs> Next time, just be sure not to do this. You're as guilty as he is, schmuck. So, here. An unexpected summons. Tell me, should I be appalled or impressed? Quit joking around. You know that's not the reason you were summoned here. Explain yourself. You should have no trouble dealing with four or five Ryokas without backup. Can you not see? Your petty accusations seem to imply that I let him go on purpose. I think the true reason for which you have been summoned here to stand before your peers has been made abundantly clear. It is the fact that you acted alone. Oh. So then, how do you defend your actions, Ichimaru? I'll accept whatever punishment... Just a minute, Ichimaru. Oh, Aizen. I have something I want to ask you first. They're coming. That was episodes 23 and 24. Um, and again, fantastic two episodes. We are really getting to the thick of things. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go over uh, some of the stuff we found out in these episodes. First and foremost, um, we found out finally who Kukaku Shiba was. Badass woman by the looks of it. She has a wooden arm. One of her arms, something must have happened to them. And she's also the older sister of Ganju, the guy that Ichigo was fighting with in the previous episode. We finally met Kukaku. We went into the gist of how she was going to get them into the Seirite. But before we even get to that, back into the Soul Society, Soul Reaper Council, um, Rukia's date, execution date, was moved forward. So she now um, will be executed in 14 days. Uh, at this point, I've been saying Renji feels some type of way with what's happening to uh, Rukia. His way about, he, we met Aizen. Now, Captain Aizen, so Aizen's another captain. Um, I have heard Aizen's name float around the fandom. I have heard his name mentioned. The importance of Aizen, I'm not sure, but we will find out. Uh, I've definitely, the images I've seen, this is ages ago, I vaguely remember of him did not look like how we see here so he's i don't know how to feel about aizen i suppose it's because i already have a feeling this is gonna he's gonna f us over i just have the feeling but he met with renji and he did say some facts he was talking about he asked him straight up do you think rukia should be punished the way she is you know do you think it's a bit strange not only was her execution moved up and i, f I forgot I, I don't think i heard properly what he mentioned about the um, so Kyoku, so the guillotine type thing, that it's being used on someone, it shouldn't be used on. I'm assuming it's, it's like a, a a form of execution that shouldn't be used on anyone lower than a captain. I think he said. So basically, and she was put into the cell and all this other stuff. So he's like, he understands that what she did was wrong. You know, I don't know what Aizen was trying to do by putting these thoughts into Renji's head. Renji is already feeling some sort of thing, but obviously the rules are the rules. He was a bit surprised at to what Aizen was saying or how could he be saying this sort of stuff. 
and I was more worried for Rin. I don't know. I got this horrible feeling that something bad was going to happen to Rinji. And on top of that, um, all the lieutenants were summoned into a room, and they all had to wear their badges. So if anything, if uh, stuff like that always makes me think. Um, it makes people easier to spot when they've got a type of marking on them. So I wonder what that was about. So we met a whole bunch of new, there was Momo on the floor, this blonde woman that came in, which I'm not sure that I don't think they mentioned her name. So there's a lieutenant and I'm wondering what that's all about. There's, there is something, a bigger thing going on, which is very, very interesting. Uh, so like there's a, another bigger orchestrated person. I, my mere first thought was Byakuya, but again, because the uh, Kuchiki family are considered quite high members in the Soul Society or Soul Reaper family, I wonder if there's someone beyond that. Or someone above that guy we saw in the second episode. The chimney thing that was sticking out of Kukaku's house was literally, she's like known as the fireworks expert, but she's... Um, it's a flower crank cannon. And basically, she gave us a bit of an explanation as to... Uh, the serite the serite is protected like the barrier the wall is not just any old wall uh they're made up of uh, the walls made out of seki seki so she mentioned how the energy around the seki seki is like almost like a sphere so that's why it's you won't be it literally um cuts through any spirit energy so you can't plow through the wall nor can you uh, you know hit it with aerial attacks because around that whole district there's like a barrier um stopping outside spiritual energy attacks she was planning on launching them into it however they were going to use their combined spiritual energy by using uh, a spirit core so she called it the ranshu kaku a spirit core by combining all their spirit energies they were going to create a, more, a dense enough spiritual ball to pierce through the uh, barrier now they had to train ichigo of, of course had found this incredibly difficult yes i'd expect uru to be able to know how to use it because of his uh background as a quincy we've got both chad and orihime that have been working with oh my god i, was, <laughs> I forgot to call him orochimaru <laughs> um they were working with yoroichi so they were able to also concentrate their energy but ichigo was struggling with it um, but before they went off to train, Ganju, and we finally found out, again, I was saying that Soul Reapers have a bad rep, even within the Soul Society. I felt like there was something going on, and Ganju had a, it felt like from the last episode, he had a particular grudge against the Soul Reapers, which makes sense now. Both Ganju and Kukaku had another brother, and we find out that this other brother was a Soul Reaper. He was also killed by a soul reaper and he died, but he loved the soul reapers. This has more re relevance later when Ganju tries to finds out from Ichigo, a soul reaper, why is he going out of his way and going to all this much struggle to help Rukia? So we found out there and then that again, it was such a, it was actually kind of sweet and it did definitely, I think it's starting the process to help Ganju's perception of soul reapers change. I'm more interest, invested now and interested in to see Ganju's brother, how he died, who would have killed him? Because if he was a soul reaper killed by another soul reaper, did he know too much? Was he, I don't know, once the soul re once you become a, oh, okay, I'll, I'll come into my theory stuff later. So Ganju is able to show Ichigo a technique to help him at least start off with how to control his Spirit energy. Because remember, I'm going to say his, because I need to get used to saying Kisuke's surname. So, Urahara. So, Urahara just give him, gave him some fighting experience and helped him transform into a soul reaper. He didn't essentially help him control or use his spiritual energy. They helped him recreate his spiritual base form energy after Byakuya cut it and obviously he lost the spiritual energy that he gained from Rukia. He at least started off the beginnings of being able to tap in and control his spiritual energy or at least find a focal point i think that's what the issue was he wasn't he hadn't learned how to rein it in to be able to control it into a single focal point on the flip side in uh, the soul reaper society like you know with the soul reapers 
We again got to see some more cool character designs. We got to see the other Soul Reaper captains. Aizen was there, Byokuya was there, the other spiky haired captain was there. I forgot what squad he's captain of, but the spiky haired one. We saw a short guy with white hair. We saw a black dude with this really cool, I think, orange beads. And basically they summoned him because because they are aware of the intruder. Um, and he tried to play it off and say, you know, I don't think he, I thought he was dead already. But then the alarm started going off that there were intruders into the Sarite. Sarite, sorry. A meaning we must have had a bit of a forward where that cannon had shot our guys into the dome. Now, um, going back into some of the theories and stuff I was thinking about during this episode, Ganju's brother was a Soul Reaper. Soul Reapers already have bad rep because of how they act as if they're meant to be pillars of society when they're really not. And Aizen even pointed out there is something going on, which I'm trying, I'm, I'm wondering what that could be. Is there like a rebellion, an uprising? Um, I feel like, I don't know if this is prior to, say, Rukia going into jail, or if this was going on beforehand. Is Byakuya involved? Because he is suspicious as well. Aizen is suspicious anyway. I already have my backup about him. Um, I wonder if we'll get to know more about this other Soul Reaper, Ganju's brother. On the flip side, I wonder if they know Rukia, if that makes sense. Rukia, I get the impression, is a pretty... She wasn't a she wasn't a, um, a lieutenant, so she's kind of like a newer Soul Reaper, by the sounds of it. So I wonder if Rukia may have met this brother. How far, how long ago did he die? Has it got something to do with what this internal struggle is in the Soul Reapers? With the Soul Reapers, sorry. A lot of, because Rukon district again is the biggest district where a lot of the souls have come into first. Um, oh, Aizen did quickly mention when he was not interrogating but asking Renji those questions that, and I knew it before. Before Renji and Ruki had grew up together, um, but Ruki was adopted by the Kuchki family to become a Soul Reaper. So I wonder if if they were kind of initiated to be Soul Reapers at the same time. Um, I wonder if there are other people that live in the Serate apart from the Soul Reapers, like their families must be, because the Kuchki family must live there. Um, I did mention about the, the Sambakto that looked like it was broken, that sword that Ganju had. And if the, was that his brother's sword? Um, Kukaku lost her arm. It's got something to do with that. She even mentioned that if he was still alive and he, he would have scolded her if she turned away a soul reaper so of course clearly he even she even mentioned that he loved soul reapers there's definitely something's going on and i wonder what gin's plans were for if they, if everyone was convinced that he should have killed them why yes why did he let them go if clearly he could have killed them but because by the sounds of it all the other captains would have got rid of ichigo <laughs> and his friends on site so i'm more intrigued to know what gin's up to if he's part of the uprising if you know what i mean this sort of uh if he's trying to lead like a secret faction against him against somebody i'm not sure who that somebody is but i am incredibly invested because even though you've got um ichigo and gang trying to save rukia i feel like there's also this internal struggle going on within the soul reapers which i am very intrigued to find out i really like renji i really hope he doesn't die so I'm intrigued also to see what happens because they've gathered all the lieutenants in that one room. I feel like almost either like to spot them or to um, they um, to keep their interference out of something. So I'm really intrigued. I'm really invested. I think that covers a lot of everything that we covered the last few episodes. Right now, they are essentially at the border of the Serite. They're about to enter and start throwing hands or throwing swords. <laughs> so I'm so, so I'm laugh at my own jokes, I'm so dumb. Throwing spiritual energy more like. That's it for this time, thank you so much for watching. And as always, like, comment and subscribe and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below of what you thought of this week's episodes. That's all for this time, I'll see you guys next time.